Hey everyone, it's Anthony back with another video. I am here at um, the Three Lakes, um, or Three Island Lake Trailhead, um, taking you obviously on another hike. Um, super beautiful day. I'm getting a bit of a late start. Um, I did know that this was gonna be a long drive getting up here, but I guess I just didn't, I didn't plan accordingly. So hopefully I can make it up there and back. This is a six mile hike. So three miles up, three miles back. Um, and yeah, we're just out, uh, not just outside of, but uh, we're about 30, 40 minutes outside of Steamboat Springs, which is about three hours from my house. Um, this was definitely kind of a destination hike, um, but I have the week, the rest of the week off for 4th of July. And so this has been a hike that's been on my list because it looked very pic picturesque. Um, let me flip you around. So, I mean, we're just getting started, but um, yeah, it looked really picturesque on the app that I use. So I added this to my like list of must try, must hike um, trails. Um, it's been on there for probably like three years and I just haven't gotten the motivation to make it up here. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, like I said, a little bit of a late start, so I'm gonna hopefully hustle to get up there. And then on the way, um, or once I get to the lake, most likely, I have some, of course, products that I brought with me. And so I'm going to be bringing up, or I've brought up with me some Super Goop products because I didn't get a chance to take all of my photo or all the product shots that I wanted last time. So just a few more Super Goop products and then I've got uh, some products from a Korean brand called Solved Skincare. Um, it's a brand that's been on Soko Glam for about a year now, I think. And I just finished my one month mark with the cleanser and so I just wanted to snap some photos of that as well as their cleansing oil and their toner so looking forward to that but I'm gonna kind of cut in and out so you don't have to hear me huffing and puffing the whole way up this hike um, but I'll most likely be jumping in as per usual with some product shots and um, just to kind of give you updates on the hike. So let's have some fun and hike. Don't have my gimbal out, but just a quick peek at the hike. I'm um, probably not going to stop to take too many product photos um, just because this is, it's rated as moderate, but moderate for me being a, being me is hard. So, uh, I'm probably just going to try to power up this to make time and then take some shots once I'm at the lake, but I just thought it was, this was a really pretty little view. Alright, bye. Just another quick pit stop. thought this was really pretty. Just a nice little stream going across the trail. Just jumping in again about mile two into the three mile kind of first leg of the hike. So it'll be in one more mile to the lake, and then that's where I'll do most of my photo shoots or pictures, and then um, it'll be three miles back the way I came, but we're starting to come up alongside the river or the stream that kind of funnels out of the lake, I'm assuming, and it's just really peaceful and just sounds very beautiful and nice, so I thought I'd stop and do a little quick pit stop, but uh, yeah, we'll keep on moving. Bye. Hey there, just a quick check-in. Um, we've just arrived at the lake. It's just off there in the distance, so I'm gonna head that way, but I wanted to show you all that there is still just the last little strip of snow here. Um, keep in mind, it is July 1st, and so we, we still have just a little teensy bit of snow covering here in Colorado. You can see some of it up in the, the mountains, there's a strip of snow over there. Um, but yeah, let's walk over to the lake. I don't have my gimbal out, so this might be pretty shaky. But um, yeah, let's let's walk down to the lake here. Um, I only did a couple check-ins on the way up here just because I was huffing and puffing. I'm still just kind of 
catching my break. It's been flat for probably a tenth of a mile, so I've been able to catch my breath a little bit. But um, the last, I want to say mile, um, mile and a half, so like pretty much half of the hike um, was a pretty decent incline. Like I said, this is um, this is six miles in total, three miles up, three miles back, but um, you gain, I think, about 1,600 feet of elevation in that time, so there are some pretty, they're not steep, like I'm not scrambling up the side of a mountain or scrambling up rocks. It's just kind of like being on a stair stepper, except for, you know, a good mile and a half. So, um, so I'm in a, I believe the trail wraps around the lake a little bit. So I'm in a kind of loop around. So right here, that's the, that's one of the islands right there. Um, I, I believe there's three of those islands on this lake in total. So I'm going to walk around for a little bit, start snapping some photos, but it is very pretty picturesque up here, absolutely worth the hike. Once again, this is called Three Island Lake, and um, Three Island Lake, and it, we're just about 30, 45 minutes outside of uh, uh, Steamboat Springs. So I'm going to keep walking, find a spot to start snapping some photos, and I'm going to get myself all uh, wrapped up in my head wrap and apply a nice coat of bug spray because I can already tell that being next to the water here, um, if I stay stationary, those mosquitoes kind of pick up on the uh, CO2 that, um, that bodies give off and they will just start coming after you. So, um, so yeah, let me, let me get set up here, get all gussied up, and we'll keep going on this hike. Bye. Hey everyone, um, so I just finished up with um, taking quite a few photos um, over here by the lake. Um, I'm all wrapped up because uh, the mosquitoes here are intense. Like the second you stop moving, they just kind of start swarming you. Um, you know, even if you stop moving just for like 10, 15 seconds, they kind of seek you out and start trying to get to you. And I have bug spray on and I, cover my head completely with my head wrap plus the hat I'm wearing long sleeve and pants but they still manage to find their way to um, usually where the fabric makes contact with my skin so it's not just loose so like on my shoulders and on my back they tend to like to attack me and it makes it especially difficult when you're um when you're trying to stop and set up shots and like set up products and stuff it's not the easiest. Um, they even, because your, I think your body heat and just your person is on the products. Like when I touch the containers, they, they'll actually start swarming the products. So I have to like try to shoo them away quickly enough to, um, to snap a photo without the products just being surrounded by mosquitoes. So hopefully I was able to snag some good ones in that little shoot. I'll throw photos in here along the way. Um, but I'm just headed back now. Um, so let me flip this around just so you can kind of see. Um, might have to stop filming. So let me stop real quick, flip the camera around and we'll keep chatting. All right. So yeah, I'm just headed back. Um, now I've been up here around the lake for probably about, I'd say about an hour. Um, just walking around, snapping photos in a couple different spots that I thought were pretty. Um, ended up walking about another mile or so, just kind of pacing. Um, you can see all the mosquitoes and gnats and stuff um, in the sunlight. It's kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, so I, like I mentioned at the beginning of this, I snapped some photos of solved skincare. Uh, they had, they were, they've been on Soko Glam for about a year now. Um, and they have a water-based cleanser, an oil cleanser, and a toner. And so I've been using the toner for about a week now. I've been using the oil cleansing pads. They're coconut oil cleansing pads. Let's take a little, actually, it's just super muddy right here. So let me, uh, 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 we're just gonna, okay, <laughs> navigate that. Um, 
So uh, the coconut oil cleansing pads, I've been using those for I think about two weeks now. And then the um, coconut water cleansing foam, that's their water-based cleanser. I've been using that for a month as of yesterday. So I just wanted to snap some photos for the product reviews because I'm gonna start putting those out here in the next couple days to couple weeks. This is just a really pretty runoff. So this is basically where the, the stream cuts off from the lake and it just starts to build momentum. We kind of follow the stream pretty much the whole way. Um, there's some people out there with their dogs. Um, there's just this really nice meadow out here. Um, this was a beautiful hike, by the way. Um, I would rank it pretty high up as far as like the scenery. There's tons of wildflowers. You follow the stream, which doesn't really have waterfalls necessarily, but just lots of little like, you know, two to six feet cascades here and there. Um, the, it's, I just find that noise to be very soothing. There's these meadows. Um, I can see people are camping up here as well. Um, it just seems like a beautiful spot to spend the weekend. But even just for a day hike, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, there's lots of, like you can see the, tra the trees provide some shade in areas. So even though it's been crazy hot, it hasn't been unbearable to go on this hike. So it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, so anyway, uh, one month with the coconut water cleansing foam and I love it. I honestly have been so impressed by those products um, across the board, but that coconut water cleansing foam is so gentle yet thorough. It gets rid of um, waterproof sunscreen, even several layers of waterproof sunscreen. I don't wear makeup, so I can't speak to that, but it just cleanses so well, but the, it uses super gentle coconut-based surfactants, so there's no um, stripping feeling or feeling like it's drying out my skin at all. It's just super, super gentle yet effective, and you get this little initial burst of like the tanginess of coconut water. If you've ever had, you know, like the Vita Coco or coconut water, there's this little, it's almost like a sourness to it that, um, that you can get just a little hint of that from the product because it has 75% coconut water. And then um, still need to put together final thoughts for the other two products, but so far I'm very, very impressed. The, the coconut oil cleansing pads are so, so good at just pulling, um, you know, the, the water-based cleanser isn't there to totally remove sunscreen and stuff. It just kind of picks up what the... Uh, the cleansing pads leave behind. So I'm, I'm not only using the foam to remove that stuff, obviously the, your first step cleanse is what that, what is, that's intended for. So the uh, coconut oil cleansing pads, they have very minimal ingredients. I think it's like coconut oil, preservative, like a couple preservatives, and then like the emulsifier to make it do its emulsification. So turn milky. And so, um, that product just, the pad itself offers some physical exfoliation, like a mild buffing um, to remove dead skin cells, makeup if you're a makeup wearer, sunscreen. I tested a tinted, sun, tinted sunscreen and it did such a good job with that, removing that. Um, and that coconut oil that it leaves behind is not heavy. It's never felt like it's clogged my pores. If anything, I'm like, I wish they'd have some sort of coconut serum or something like a serum form of this because it gives my skin this like incredible glow in, from a cleansing oil. But because it's such a thin layer of it coming off the pad, it's not like super heavy or thick. It just looks really good. Um, so they've just really impressed me with what they're able to do. Um, I'm gonna move, I'm just, right now you can't see it, but I'm just gonna move my head wrap because I have my headphones in and I'm worried that it's trying to pick up my voice from the headphones. And if that fabric is over it, I don't know how that's gonna sound. Who knows? My, um, you know, my apologies if it's super muffled or I might just cut that out. But um, hopefully, if you weren't hearing me well before, hopefully you can hear me well now. 
and we can peek over this ledge here and see that little quiet meandering stream now starts to pick up some speed, gets a little angrier um, as we head back down the mountain. So yeah, those coconut oil cleansing pads, very effective. It's hard to, you know, try to piece together a verbal review while I'm trying to, trying to hike, but um, very good product, super impressed. One of my favorite cleansing oil products. I wish that they had it as just a balm um, because one of the things that hurts every time I use something like that that's in pad form is it's just a lot of waste. Um, all those one time use pads just going into the trash where I prefer just to like scoop out some clean, uh, cleansing balm and just rub it on my face, no pad needed. The pad does serve, serve a purpose in that it kind of gives a mild physical exfoliation, but I would like the option to have one or the other. That way maybe I can alternate and not feel obligated to buy the pads. That's my only thing. Um, they also smell like toasted coconut and it's incredible. Like I honestly, I just love that product and the toner, very happy with as well. Um, very hydrating and surprisingly nourishing from that product. So like I said, I'll, I'll give you guys formal reviews. Um, I'll probably do a, a full brand review and post that video of Solve Skincare, all three products together. Um, actual written reviews, I'll probably do that maybe one at a time um, on the blog. So uh, yeah, depending on where you see this, you might see a link to the blog. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna hike down the rest of this. Um, we probably have a two and a half mile uh, journey. I've already probably done about half a mile just in chatting with you guys, maybe a little bit less. So we've got that journey ahead. I still have um, the Super Goop Glow Stick. It's their like SPF oil stick. Um, I still need to snap some photos of that along the way. So I'm gonna try to dip off the trail and make it down to the um, stream or the river to snap some photos of that. Um, and then, Oh, I also need to do individual shots of the salt skincare. So up at the lake, I took a couple group shots, but I still need to do individuals. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm hoping I'm just going to be able to like find a spot, snap, 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 and keep moving. Cause like I said, the mosquitoes really are, they are fierce out here. They do not play around. So I don't, I can't really like, there was a photo shoot I did for Crave Beauty and I went up to Pikes Peak. Um, I don't know if that's a national monument or if it's just an attraction, but um, I went up there pretty early in the year. I think it was like, uh, just it was just before quarantine. So I think February I went up there and um, it was so nice because I set up at like a campsite, like a little picnic area and I set my bag down and I had my little lunch with me and my a drink with me and um, I just kind of set up shop, set all the products out on a table and just kind of walked around and just kind of like found spots like, ooh, this will be good. Oh, look over here. Maybe if I stand just at this weird angle, I can get this shot, you know? And up here, the past couple times, just with the mosquitoes um, and how intense they are, um, here and the last photo shoot I did at Cataract Lake, I guess Cataract wasn't as bad, but it's literally like I throw the stuff on a log or wherever, and I just hold, I just do like burst shot, couple burst shots, and I, I'll, I'm like, okay, I'll figure out the rest later. Um, I just need to like, at least, hopefully one of these 20 shots I just took will, um, will result in something useful that I can like edit. Um, otherwise I'm just like, go, go, go. Like I, I see all the mosquitoes just like swarming me and like making attempts at biting me. So I'm just like, let's move, let's move. Like no time to like line up shots or be like, oh, I'm gonna collect a few pine cones and set those around the products. That is not what I'm doing right now. This is just like snag, snag a shot and just get out. <laughs> so keep moving. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to keep going down this hike. Sorry if uh, it's also going to be shaky. I guess not sorry. I have to, I mean, I have to, I just want to have both hands and not have that big old gimbal because 
um, it is a little rocky. The path, I'm sure you can see, isn't like completely flat or smooth. So I just don't want to accidentally take a tumble and have one hand not be able to like brace myself. I feel like if I just have my phone in my hand, then the phone I can just kind of like, you know, it's just gonna fall out of my hand as I try to like brace myself. But that whole gimbal setup is just a lot. So, so yeah, it might be a little bit shaky, but I'm sure with um, with the motion balance on this phone, it's not gonna be a nightmare. Hopefully, hopefully that's the case. So. Anyway, that's that. I'm gonna try to grab a couple more photos down here as we get closer to the stream. And then, depending on the drive home, I may stop somewhere to grab dinner um, and jump back in with you all just to show you where I ended up landing at. But it, I might end up just going somewhere quick and easy or maybe just grabbing a snack at the gas station um, because I do have about a four hour total drive ahead of me to get home. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much more. I just kinda wanna get straight home. However, if I skip out on that, then I'm hoping I'll have the energy to um, do a quick get unready with me as just like a little attachment to this. It might not be a full in-depth one, just depending on length, but I, maybe we'll go through this, this all skincare products. I think that would be fun. So maybe I can show you those products we can do some uh, more talking about them. We can cover ingredients, uh, benefits, and then you can kind of see them applied. I really want to show everyone the toner because there's something really cool about that toner. So um, yeah, just another shot. I think, I think this is a good spot. I'm gonna come down here and see what we can do. All right, um, yeah, we'll touch base either. If I stop and grab some food, go back at the house. Bye. Um, so just um, jumping back in to go through the solved skincare products I mentioned um, previously in the video that I would run through those products and how they apply and all of that stuff with you all. Um, so uh, you might notice I'm wearing a different shirt. It's actually a different day. I didn't get back from um, the hike yesterday until around 11 p.m. There was someone stuck on the road going down, they had gotten themselves stuck. So I helped them get their car out. Somebody else actually had some toe straps or we were able to get it figured out. So that all happened, which added like another half hour or so to me getting home. And then on the way home, there was just deer everywhere, especially once it started getting dark. So like every mile I was having to stop because every mile or so for a good portion of the trip back, I'd say for about 50 miles of the trip, um, deer were crossing the road. So I'd have to stop, wait for them to cross and just drive really slow just to be careful. So it just tacked on so much extra time to getting home. So by the time I got home, I was in no mood to record anything. Um, so I just went to bed. Um, but yeah, I wanted to run through the Solve Skincare products because that's kind of what the whole photo shoot was about. I did some super goop stuff as well because I'm just trying to get those photos taken as I get, um, you know, prepare for those reviews, which will be happening in the next month or so. But I'm, like I mentioned, I'm just over a month with the Solve Skincare Cleansing Water. I've only got that much left, so probably enough to get me through maybe the next few days, maybe week. Um, and then I've got the Solve Skincare Coconut Oil Cleansing Pads. This is a delu deluxe sample size that I was given. And then I also purchased the full size because I like to give products a full month. And this only had 20 pads, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, fulfill a month's worth of use. So I just got the big size as well. 
And then the toner I've only been using for, I wanna say about a week, maybe it's been less than a week, but I wanted to show you all that the toner, it's hard to kind of tell, but the toner actually has little bits of real, um, I believe that's hibiscus flower in it. So it's just very, very unique and interesting. Um, I'll run through some of the product details as I use it. Um, I just got, have to grab the boxes. So yeah, it's the hibiscus, uh, coconut water hibiscus and rose hip toner. So I'm going to actually do my AM or my PM routine, even though it's the middle of the day because I went um, climbing today and I got very sweaty, very gross. I want to rinse off. And so, um, and I'm going to be meeting up with a, um, a friend of mine this evening, um, somebody that I've been, I've been hanging out with several times a week, most, most days of the week throughout quarantine and stuff, so we don't really have a huge concern there, but I'm gonna go um, hang out with him. But I wanna go through my PM routine because I'm so sweaty and gross. I'm gonna jump in the shower, rinse off, just do the whole routine because I am headed back out. So I'll redo sunscreen, all of that stuff. So this is like a PM combo AM routine. Not gonna show everything to you because I think I wanna divide them up into a solid unready and ready video eventually, but just, I'm gonna highlight the solve skincare. So you'll, I'll be cutting in and out um, because we're gonna start with cleansing and then I'll get to the toner when I'm out of the shower. So that's that. So jumping right in, this is the uh, coconut oil cleansing pads from Solve Skincare. I talked a lot about them on the hike. Let me grab the boxes. Um, so the boxes, they'll just help me kind of guide me along with the technic, you know, the details beyond what I, how I think they feel and perform. I already mentioned that they rinse really, really well. They leave this thin layer of oil um, on your skin that does emulsify. And so it's almost like using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, but the pad adds, see how it kind of has that embossed look to it, adds a little bit of physical exfoliation, which is, it's super gentle, but it just helps to kind of buff some of that dead skin um, kind of help to pull up some of that waterproof sunscreen makeup, those types of things. And they have this wonderful toasted coconut scent. There's only da -da -da -da, one, two, three ingredients. So um, you've got the coconut oil, and then uh, I believe the rest of these products are the other two ingredients. One's a preservative, and I think one also helps with the emulsification. But that's it. Um, this literally is just a coconut oil cleansing <laughs> cleansing pad. That's really all that's in it. So you just kind of gently swipe the pad across your face. I have zero issues getting this towards my eye area. It's never really made my eyes sting or blurry. It just, the oil just holds its place really well. It doesn't slide. It doesn't travel that much at all. So I really like that too, because sometimes you get a cleansing oil too close to the eye area and it just kind of creates some irritation and blurring. Um, I'm gonna shave once I get out of the shower so that'll get rid of all the all the, the hair on my neck and stuff and kind of look a little funky. And then I did have this, I do have this blemish. This guy got really angry and when it finally kind of extracted itself, um, I threw a, a pimple patch on it just to help pull everything out, And but I still was left with a acne, a dark acne spot or a spot of hyperpigmentation, which I kind of expected because it was not happy. So be working on fading that with probably some vitamin C serum. But anyway, so the pad, I just flipped it over just to kind of keep going. I like to go until I'm not seeing a ton of, um, actual like physical dirt and dead skin come off. So usually by the time I flip it, that's enough to kind of get everything. I sometimes, you know, I get behind my ears. It really a little goes a long way with this formula. So you think that one pad wouldn't be enough. And depending on how much makeup you wear, you might need a second pad or if you use it, if you're wearing a ton of sunscreen, but I find that one is just fine. So you can see that one side is like got the dirt and grime and dead skin cells and this side's a little bit more clean. So um, that's how I kind of know that I'm done. So we'll just toss that and then massage that in. 
I mentioned it on the hike as well, but I love this product because it just works so thoroughly at removing everything. It seems to be very gentle and I just love um, the, the scent of the coconut oil, like everything seems to be working. My only, the only downside is having to use those one-time use um, pads. It's just a little too wasteful. Um, I just, I really wish this product just came in a straight up balm or oil form that I could pump or scoop out and skip the whole pad step or have the option to do one or the other. Because like I said, the pad helps with that physical exfoliation and kind of buffing off some of those dead skin cells, but it'd be nice to have the option to avoid all of that excess waste. So um, I'm down to my very last pad in the deluxe sample and then I will break into the full size, which has 40. And I think I only need um, so this was 20 days approximately, so I'll probably be doing this for another 10 days before I post the review. Um, so that's that. I just kind of uh, massage it in, just help to break everything down, and then I emulsify. So let's do that real quick. I normally would take the water cleanser into the shower with me, um, but I want to show you the water cleanser, so I'm just going to rinse right here. And I do want to show the emulsification of this product as well, so I'll let this warm up just a little bit. Just warming it up, warm up that water. That's good enough. Okay, so you can see right away that it starts to turn white and milky and it emulsifies just like any other oil cleanser, which is kind of shocking because from what I've read, it only has like the one emulsification ingredient. There's no like surfactants and stuff. This is just coconut oil and the emulsification ingredients, but it does so well. Like it just breaks up so well. Doesn't leave any residue behind. Rinses so cleanly. I'm just gonna rinse this. Rinses very cleanly. No waxiness, no, no like tackiness. It looks so gunky on the face, it's just so great. It's not um, totally takes off. Mm, my water takes sunscreen. Yeah, it's just does a really, really good job. I love this part. I just wish I could get it. Um in a padless form, <laughs> so that's that. Second step cleanse is gonna be the coconut water cleansing foam. Only have a little bit of this left. Once again, super gentle cleanser. Um, all of their products are free from fragrance, synthetic colors, um, essential oils, mineral oil, alcohol. These are vegan, no silicone, um, and parabens and sulfates are also removed out of here. However, there are there is a coconut-based surfactant in this product along with 75% coconut water. Um, it's also got some preservatives in it, um, texturizers and stuff, water, and that's really about it. I think there's a total of one, two, three, four. I think there's like eight to 10 ingredients total in this cleanser. So once again, super simple. I'm just gonna get a little bit more water on the face. Okay. So it comes out in a pump form. I typically do one and a half pumps, so that much. Um, depending on your face size and the amount of lather you like, you could go up or down with that. Um, but yeah, it has a little hit of coconut water, uh, that kind of like tanginess of coconut water when you first put it on. It only lasts like a second though, and then it just smells like, like nothing. It just smells like a scentless or you know, a, a cleanser that has no added fragrance. It just kind of has like a watery nothing scent to it, which isn't bad. So just massaging in, it does a really nice job of cleansing, but it is super gentle. So if you are wearing, you know, heavy makeup or a lot of sunscreen and you're, you know, really powering through those cleansing pads or you use a lot of cleansing oil, just make sure to rinse thoroughly because I found that if you leave behind some cleansing oil or your cleansing oil itself leaves behind, like doesn't cleanse thoroughly enough, this isn't quite strong enough to break through all that. I used this with the um, I'm From cleansing oil or cleansing balm, and that balm just didn't do a very good job of thoroughly cleansing my skin, at least in my opinion. So by the time I came to use this, it just like, there was zero lather, it just kind of like moved around and I was like, oh, this cleanser kind of sucks. It's not doing anything. It just kind of just sits there. But the second I, I bailed on that I'm From Cleansing Balm and came to these cleansing pads, I was like, oh, this is like a whole different product. It's so, it's doing its job. It's cleansing thoroughly. 
but it's so gentle. Like, it was so different, the results. So, yeah, if you're, if you're a heavy makeup wearer, sunscreen wearer, just make sure if you're gonna use this product um, to thoroughly rinse, make sure your cleansing balm or cleansing oil is doing a thorough job. Um, I think this would be great for sensitive skin types or skin types that might have specific sensitivities to like stronger surfactants, to essential oils, to fragrance. If those things have been issues for you, this, this water-based cleanser it skips out on so much, so but it still does a good job. So this would be really nice for more sensitive skin types. And it's one that I'll definitely be coming back to at some point in the future. So love that one. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower, rinse off, shave, and then when I come back to you, we will go right in with the Solve Skincare Toner and we'll talk a little bit about that. And then that will be it for this video. So see you in a second. Bye. Hi everyone, just showered, shaved. And so the last step, oh, I put the box away again, hold on. Yeah, there we go, okay. Um, so the last, the last Solve skincare product that I wanted to share with you is their coconut water, hibiscus, and rose hip toner. This is another one that has a pretty minimal ingredients list. Um, it's got 75% coconut water, hibiscus extract, rose hip extract, centella asiatica, hibiscus flower itself, which I believe that's what we've got in here. Um, and just a couple preservatives um, and some allantoin. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward ingredients list. I think this one's probably gonna be 10 ingredients or less as well. Um, but like I showed you earlier, it's got the actual bits of hibiscus flower in the toner itself, which is cool. It doesn't really have a scent, which I was expecting it to have a scent. It's just kind of watery and it almost has a, a light like tea scent, almost like a, um, like if you were to do like a rose hip tea or a hibiscus tea, I guess. So yeah, very, very mild. I only do a few drops in my hand, um, probably about four to six drops. And then I pat this in. And on the skin, it's very lightweight. Um, it's a super watery toner, um, but it once it absorbs, it has a little bit of a sweeter scent and it almost gives the skin this kind of like, rather than just being those watery toners that provide a lot of watery hydration, but you need to lock lock everything in with a moisturizer, which you still need to do for this, but this gives the skin more of like, almost like a, I applied a serum. This is my third layer, by the way. I think I'll probably stop there. Um, this is not one that's quite thin enough and watery enough to do like a full seven skins. I typically do three to five, um, but it almost feels like a serum and it kind of gives the skin this kind of like honey, dewy look to it. And it's just very smoothing and a little bit calming. And the um, that kind of sweet scent uh, that comes off of this is just really pleasant as well. So it's just a really pleasant, deeply hydrating toner. I haven't used it quite long enough to see like any long-term effects. Let's do another layer. I'm feeling, I'm feeling for, I'm feeling like another layer. Um, I haven't seen any like long-term effects, but I can say early on that it is very hydrating, which is nice. Love it. So yeah, that's that. That's the um, hibiscus and Rose Hip Toner with Coconut Water from Solve Skincare. I'm so happy with this entire line. I think out of all of the brands that I've used this year, um, and being able to use multiple products from each brand, I think these three products um, work so well together, but I think they'd work just as well alone. But I think Solve Skincare has kind of been the most impressive line of products that I've used so far this year. They're just, very straight to the point. The ingredients lists are very minimal, very clean, 
and effective. I'm so happy with the cleansing pads. I think out of the three products so far, that one's my favorite. The, the cleansing water is really gentle and I think approachable for all skin types. And so far, so good with the toner. I like the results that it's giving me. So yeah, that's that. Let me know if you have any questions on the Solve Skincare products or um, any of the Super Goop products that you might have seen photos for. I'm gonna be posting um, Super Goop reviews on various social media sites as I use them. And then I'll be doing a full brand review in video format once I'm all done towards the end of the summer. So be on the lookout for that. I'll put links below where I can. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna show anything else in my routine because I'm gonna do a get ready and get unready with me video here in the next week or so. So I'll, um, I won't give any spoilers for what I'm looking at down here for my whole routine, but some, some very impressive products. So thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay glowing, bye.